Brethren, we are going to pray. Should we pray for Nigeria? Did, do, we need Niger, do we need prayers in Nigeria? You will quite agree with me that in recent times, the country that has been bedeviled with a lot of challenges, academic strike, economic misrule, a lot of problem, chaos, killing, bloodletting, bloodshed, a lot of things that are happening in our country, and we want to pray. And I believe God will answer our prayer in Jesus' name. There's a particular statistic that out of every 10 in Nigeria, about three of them have traveled out because the country is not looking good. But God will revive the economy of our country in Jesus' name. But then let's open our mouth and commit Nigeria into the hand of the Lord and say, oh God, heal Nigeria, heal our land. Every challenge that Nigeria is passing through, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask that you will heal Nigeria. We ask that you will heal our land. Enough of all this bloodletting. Enough of all this academic strike. Enough of all the dying and killing and slaughtering of people. Lord, take over Nigeria. Heal our land in the name of Jesus. If you are not praying, you are, doing, you are not doing well. If you are not praying, you are not doing well. Open your mouth and talk to God in prayer. Lord, we bring Nigeria into your hand. Heal our land in the name of Jesus. Heal our economy in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Brethren, we are going to pray that those who delight in war, those who delight in shedding blood, those who delight in killing people, if you look over the internet, over the news media, a lot of killings are happening in our country. We are going to pray that God will silence them in the name of Jesus. God will silence them in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray, Lord, those who delight in war, those who go to people to kill them, to take over their land, slaughtering people in churches, killing people all over the country. Father, we pray that you will silence them in the name of Jesus. Lord, you put an end to all this bloodletting. You will put an end to all these killings in the name of Jesus. Our country will be safe again. Our country will be peaceful. Our country will be safe to stay in in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that God will silence those who delight in war. Those who go about killing people, oppressing people with their weapons, that God of heaven will silence them in the name of Jesus. Enough of killing in our land. Enough of shedding of innocent blood in the land. Oh Lord, silence them anywhere they may be. Father, we pray that your spirit and your power will go and silence them and put an end to their activities in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. The new election is close by. By next year, we'll be electing new officials into um, political posts in Nigeria. And we are going to pray that God will give us new rulers. Rulers that will turn this country around. We don't want corruption again in our land. We don't want embezzling nepotism and uh, stealing of public funds again in our land. Let's pray and talk to God, Lord. Give us leaders after your own heart. Give us leaders that will channel the resources of the country aright. Let's open our mouth and pray for Nigeria. Next year, we'll be voting new political appointees into position. Let's pray that God of heaven will take over. We want new leaders, leaders that we glorify God, leaders that we reign with righteousness, with the fear of God. God of heaven, you will give us in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. We are going to pray that righteousness will rule in Nigeria. Righteousness will rule in Lagos, will rule in Ogun State, will rule in the south, in the east, in the north, in the west, in the name of Jesus. Because the Bible says righteousness exalts a nation. When we allow righteousness to rule, our nation will be exalted. We are going to pray, Lord, let righteousness reign in Nigeria. Let righteousness reign in our land. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray and talk to God. Let righteousness reign in Nigeria. Let righteousness reign in our land. Let the name of the Lord be magnified in Nigeria. In the name of Jesus, change the fortunes of this land. Change the fortunes of our people. Let the country be revived. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. As we round up, we are going to pray for peace. Peace in the north, peace in the east, peace in the west, peace in the south. 
Open your mouth and decree peace. Decree peace. Peace in Nigeria in the name of Jesus. Peace in the north. Every killing, every bloodletting. Stop in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. You are the child of the king. There is power in your mouth. There is power in your prayer. Peace in the north. Peace in the south. Peace in the east. Peace in the west. In the name of Jesus. King of peace, come and reign in our country. Come and reign in our hearts. Every heart that is poised to cause war. Every heart that has been orchestrated to cross bloodletting. Peace in the land. Peace in their heart. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Heavenly Father, we bless your name. We thank you because Nigeria is in your hand. And you are going to steer the country aright in the name of Jesus. Every killing, every bloodletting in Nigeria, we decree this moment. Let them stop in the name of Jesus. We decree peace in our land. We decree peace in our heart. We decree peace in our home. We decree peace in the church of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying.